three of our five-day ocean crossing between San Diego, California and Honolulu, Hawaii. We left San Diego a couple days ago, um, about five o'clock at night, just as the sun was setting. And it was really the culmination of all our preparation and planning to finally get started on our journey. We were really sad to say goodbye to our friends and family. It was very bittersweet, but we were so excited to get going on this 14-month trip that we're hoping to share with everyone along the way. Um, it was beautiful leaving San Diego Harbor. We were right in downtown San Diego. The sun was just setting. We actually stood out in the back of the boat for quite a while, watched the whole um, downtown area slip away, and it was really quite spectacular. Now we're on the ship. This is day three, as I said, and the really amazing thing about this is that for three solid days, we've seen nothing but ocean. Literally, you look around you 24-7, it's ocean, ocean, more ocean, no boats, no planes, nothing, no other people except that are on the ship. So it's really a great feeling to, to feel, to see this and, and see how immense the Pacific Ocean is, the largest ocean in the world, and realize how, how insignificant this small boat is compared to this large ocean around us. You might think that being on a ship for five days in a row would be sort of boring, but we've found plenty of activities to keep us busy. Um, in the mornings we go to a, a sort of a walking, jogging track on top of the ship and stay in shape by doing a lot of walking so that we don't lose all our fitness by the time we actually start our treks. And we've gone to some lectures, um, we've sort of hung out and ate a lot of great food from around the world and just relaxed and really enjoyed our time. So we'll be in Honolulu in two days and then we'll be in the island of Kauai and then after that we'll have actually five more days at sea and be setting down toward the South Pacific. So we'll check back with you later. Thanks.